Indeed, there are great spiritual blessings, God's plans for each one of us, our inheritance given in advance. Hallelujah. We again get in to another great epistle or letter written by Paul, the book of Ephesians. As normal, he starts off this letter by addressing and letting the reader know that he is Paul, a chosen apostle by the Lord Jesus Christ himself personally. And he's writing to the church in Ephesus and he describes, describes them as faithful followers of Jesus Christ. And that sets the tone for the entire letter or epistle. But he starts off um, this epistle by pronouncing spiritual blessings over the church in Ephesus. And he reminds them about the spiritual blessings that are available for each one of us. What he calls our inheritance. And in chapter 1, verse 4, he says, Even before he, he made the world, that is God made the world, God loved us and he chose us in Christ to be holy without fault in his eyes. And that, all of that has been done by God well in advance. He adopted us, in verse 5, as his family through Jesus Christ. What an awesome inheritance that is. So friends, you are not alone in this. Verse 9, as we move on, tells us that these mysteries are revealed to us by God. Christ Jesus, oh, these mysteries revealed to us about Christ Jesus is for our own good plan. And that plan about Jesus Christ is bringing everything under the, His authority in heaven on earth. Amen. And we are united with Him and have access to this inheritance of power and of enjoying the benefits of God's plan, bringing salvation to the Jews first and then to us. And God has given us a deposit into that plan, which is the Holy Spirit. And Paul calls it a foretaste of things to come. Amen. Friends, what an awesome, 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 inheritance we have already given to us in advance that God had purchased through his son Jesus Christ for his own people. He did this in verse 14 towards the latter part of that verse. He did this so we would praise him and glorify him. Friends, no matter what you're going through, no matter how far back you think you've gone, you are still part of God's family. You have a great inheritance and we need to access this inheritance. We need to acknowledge that there's a plan for us. And as Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Friends, it's been cast in stone well in advance before you were even formed in your mother's womb. And what are those plans? Those plans are to prosper you and not to harm you. Those plans are to give you hope and a future. So no matter how down you feel today, no matter how far back you think you've gone and you, are, you cannot be redeemed, there is always hope in your life, in your situation, in, the, in whatever you are doing. There is hope. God is still in control. Access it. You are a co-heir with Jesus to the kingdom of God. And he sits, Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. And he controls everything. We have access to that, that power. And today, friends, 
you need to overcome what you're going through. Access those plans. Claim your inheritance. And live a life that glorifies Him and praises Him. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, once again, Daddy, in no other name we come but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the plans you have for us. Thank you for the inheritance that you've given us, Dad. And the deposit of the Holy Spirit in our lives that lives inside of us for the greater things to come. The inheritance you promised us that you purchased through your Son, Jesus Christ. Today, we can rise up in the power of the Holy Spirit and take control of those things that have brought us down and we advance forward in our lives. Father, I declare that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Friends, until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.